about how you should be approaching this market. Amnish, hi, good morning and thanks a lot for joining in. You know, I wanted to start by asking you about the auto sales because we've had some pretty decent numbers come in from the likes of Hero Motor Corp. The rural markets are coming back. Uh, you know, some of the passenger vehicle plays like M&M have done well in their uh, SUV sales this time. Um, your thoughts on the auto sales overall and any stocks that you would buy at this price? Yeah, hi, Sonia. So, you see, as expected, auto numbers have been reasonably good. Uh, particularly if you look at say m and the momentum is clearly there from the last few quarters and the double digit growth even now in the PV segment and revival in the tractor demand also because that has been the positive territory from the last two, three uh, months. So that I think uh, bodes well for m and because I think going forward, uh, if monsoons are normal, rural recovery is there. So m and seem to be a very visible and clear play and uh, it remains one of our topics in the auto space. Now coming to your two-wheelers and uh, particularly your hero, uh, I think last couple of this month there has been some sort of a rebound and hero, I would say, is a very strong play on the rural demand because if the rural recovery actually happens, then Hero should do well over the, uh, I would say, the uh, near to medium term. So from that angle, I think the Hero also looks good. But having said that, uh, all these stocks, they have run up quite decently in the in the past, say, six, eight months. Uh, but even then, the scope to make another 15, 20% over the next 15, 20 months still remains. Okay, all right. Uh, hi, Abnish. Thanks a lot uh, for joining in. I wanted your view on some of these uh chemical players. You know, yesterday you had Deepak Nitride that went ahead and made a fresh 52-week high. You know, the street is bracing for better times in the second half of the year. They've been focusing on backward integration, on uh, CAPEX as well that will come on stream. And demand recovery is expected in the second half. Your view on either Deepak Nitride or uh, other, other specialty chemical stocks? You see, the entire specialty chemical space from the past few months is doing well primarily because the market view is that the worst is over for them. Although in terms of a significant recovery in the margins or sales, we are some time away. But having said that, even if you would have looked at the 4Q numbers, we have already witnessing some sort of a sequential recovery, which means that some, you can say, we are we are now coming, coming up from the turf. And uh, that is what is being reflected in all the, you can say, the stock price of the specialty chemical companies. Okay, that's on the specialty chemical companies. Got that. Um, you know, I also wanted your thoughts about some of these banking names that have been hitting new highs. Uh, you know, whether it is names like ICICI Bank, Axis Bank, SBI has also come back in a big way. Um, but particularly for private sector banks, is there still more to go? Yeah. Uh, Sonia, I believe that there, there is a there is still reasonable amount of steam left in the private banks because if you look at the entire uh, BFSI space, uh, the last year was actually led by all the PSU banks, which saw their price to book coming from anywhere from 0.5 to something like closer to one, some even across that. Whereas all the private sector banks, maybe if you look at say the scenario one month back, their price to book value they were at, you can say, multi-year low. So most of them were trading anywhere between 1.5 to 2.3 was the max. So I think if you look at the historically there where they have been trading at and the kind of profitability, the overall your NPA situation, I think in the BFSI space this year, I think private banks are going to do better than both NBFCs as well as the PSU banks. So based on that, I think, which is, a, I think, macro in my view, the loan growth continues to look good. And I see a possibility that all these, you can say, the leading private bank, which are the frontline four to five banks, so they should, they have the potential to give anywhere between 15 to 20 percent return, even from the current levels over the next 8, 12, 18 months. All right, uh, Amish, stay with us. Uh, we're going to come back to you uh, with more, lots more to discuss here. Such a such a vibrant market, right? A lot's going on, but. More stocks. Amnish Agarwal is still with us. Amnish, uh, the stock I wanted to ask you about was um, Indigo because, you know, there are a lot of brokerage upgrades that have come in on Indigo. In fact, UBS has a target price of 5,400. I mean, big upside to the current market price. Do you think this whole travel and tourism theme is something that can continue? Not just Indigo, but, you know, names like Indian hotels that continue to be at new highs. Any thoughts here? See, the travel and tourism theme is in focus from the last couple of years at least. And I think the situation continues to look good for all these companies. 
for example if you look at say all the hotel companies their uh, your uh, arrs and occupancy levels have been healthy now most of them are you can see north of 70% their uh, your arrs have been moving up in double digits and i think given the fact that hotels is always a long gestation business and the uh, and all these companies they have come out of a downturn which lasted for nearly say 12 to 14 years so i think there is still more room yes we won't have the kind of sharp growth we have seen in the last couple of years but from these levels also i think the companies will continue to post decent numbers and as we look at india as an economy where the disposable income is increasing this discretionary spends in the hands of people are more so i believe that this entire tourism and travel space will do well and obviously with the number of airports increasing the number of you can say options increasing all the airline companies are also in for some good times with the industry now consolidated into having more than 60% market share and now increasing its you can say the number of flights in the international destinations <clears throat> wide body aircraft i think indigo seems to be very well placed to uh, ride this entire upsurge in the you can say spending on travel and tourism the stock has given very sharp returns but i still believe that there, there is a lot of room in indigo uh, over the next one to two years you know i just want to take note of the pre open uh, we are up 100